Happy Sabbath, everyone. Welcome to Parkside Kids. In our Sabbath school lesson today, we're going to learn that Jesus is alive. Our memory verse today is taken from Matthew 28, verses 6. And it says, He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. It's time to pray. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for looking after us and keeping us safe this week. As we learn more about you, please help us to remember to share what we learn with others. In Jesus' name, amen. It's story time, so let's begin. After Jesus died, they took his body down from the cross. A man named Joseph, from a place called Arimathea, had permission to take away Jesus' body. He put Jesus in his tomb that nobody had ever used. The tomb they used was cut out of a rock, almost like a cave. Carefully, they laid Jesus' body in the tomb. Before Joseph left, he and some men rolled a large, heavy stone in front of the tomb. Mary and Mary Magdala had waited a day to see Jesus because they couldn't go on the Sabbath, which was a day of rest. They made spices and oils as a sign of respect to Jesus and went very early on Sunday morning to see Jesus's body. Before they reached the tomb, the earth suddenly shook. An angel had come down from heaven. He easily rolled away the stone at the entrance of the tomb and sat on top of it. The women looked at each other and rubbed their eyes as they couldn't believe what they had seen. Plus, it was very early in the morning and they were still a little sleepy. The angel was so bright, almost as bright as lightning. His clothes were as white as snow. They had been guards watching the tomb, so no one would steal Jesus' body. When they saw the angel, they fell over and they couldn't move or speak because they were so afraid. Then the angel said to the women, do not be afraid. I know you're looking for Jesus who has died, but he isn't here. He has risen just as he said he would. Come and see for yourself. The tomb is empty. The women were confused. How could this happen? They were sure Jesus had died. And now he was alive. They looked in the tomb. And the clothes Jesus had been wrapped in were lying on the ground. The tomb was empty. Then the angel spake again. If you want to find Jesus, he's on his way to Galilee. So the women hurried away. They were laughing and crying at the same time. They didn't know what to feel. They had been so sad that Jesus was dead. And now they were so excited that he was alive. They just knew they had to find Jesus. And they had to tell the disciples the good news. As they were running down the path, they turned a corner. And there was 
Jesus. There's Jesus. Greetings, he said. The ladies fell at his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my disciples to come to Galilee. That is where they will see me. The disciples came to Galilee, having heard by this time that Jesus was alive. They were sitting around talking about it when Jesus walked into the room and said to them, Peace be with you. The disciples immediately stopped talking. Even though they had heard he was alive, they were shocked to see him standing there with them. Jesus said to them, Why do you look at me like you've seen a ghost? Why don't you believe what you're seeing? Look at the scars in my hands and my feet. It is really me. Touch me and see. I am not a ghost, but a real person. The disciples' mouths were open in amazement. They still didn't know what to think. They were so full of joy, and yet it was so impossible. Jesus understood what they were thinking, and he said, This is what I told you would happen, that everything must happen that has already been written in the Bible. Jesus had told the disciples when they had the last supper, they took the bread at communion and Jesus said, this is my body, which I have given to you. But the disciples hadn't understood what it really meant. Then Jesus told them, you see these things that have happened? So stay in the city, and soon I am going to send you what God has promised you, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit makes us know what we have done wrong. The Holy Spirit reminds us that we need to stop and say sorry and ask for forgiveness for what we've done. Jesus had one more person to see. His name was Thomas, and he was one of the disciples who wasn't there when Jesus met them. Thomas had also heard that Jesus was alive, but would not believe until he saw Jesus with his own eyes. A week later, when Thomas finally saw Jesus, he said to him, Thomas, put your finger here. See my hands? Stop doubting and believe. But Jesus continued, Because you have seen me, you have believed. But it is more amazing for those who don't see me and believe anyway. Jesus was actually talking to us when he said this. If you believe in Jesus without seeing him, he will think you're very special. That is exactly what faith is. Believing in God even though you can't see him. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we're so happy to know that you're alive and that you're always with us. Please, Jesus, help us to always believe and trust in you, even though we can't see you. In Jesus' name, A. Amen. Hi children, 
So the song we're going to sing now, it's called uh, God's Not Dead. So I want you to sing along with me. And uh, if you don't know the song, um, you will pick it up very quickly because the words are very simple and we'll keep repeating them again and again. So whenever you pick up the tune, whenever you pick up the words, just kick right in and sing along with us and enjoy. God's not dead, he's alive, God's not dead, he's alive, God's not dead, he's alive, I feel him all over me. Sing with me now. God's not dead, he's alive, God's not dead, he's alive, God's not dead, he's alive, I feel him all over me. I feel him in my hands, I feel him in my feet, I feel him in my church, I feel him in the street. Hello again everyone. In our Sabbath school lesson today we learned that Jesus is alive and so we're going to make a megaphone to shout to the whole world that Jesus is alive so we can shout Jesus is alive. Okay and so this is what you're going to need to make this megaphone. So you can use any colour a4 card or paper. You'll need two sheets, okay, and just a single sheet of A4 paper. You'll need a pencil, a ruler, a pair of scissors, some coloured pens and a copy of the memory verse, some sellotape, some glue and some stickers. So I've got smiley faces, stars and hearts. Okay, so let's make a start. So with your A4 card, what you'll need to do is join it together to make one big sheet. So you'll start off with two sheets like that. Okay, but what you need to do is just use some sellotape and stick it together front and back to make one big sheet of paper. And when you've done that, what you'll need to do is with your ruler and your pencil, you're going to draw a diagonal line from one corner. Okay, I'll put that a little bit nearer so you can see. Okay, you're going to draw a diagonal line from one corner of your paper to almost the other corner, but not quite the other corner. Okay, and then you'll just need to do a sort of a, a curved line, okay, to meet that diagonal line at the top and a curved line again at the bottom. Okay, so you should end up with those lines on your page. And then when you've done that, with your scissors, you're going to cut that shape out. So when you've cut that out, you should end up with a shape 
like this. Okay. And so at this point, this is where you're going to decorate your megaphone. And so it's best to do it with the point of the megaphone facing away from you. Okay, and so what you can write on your megaphone, actually I'll put it on this side, is I'm going to put Jesus is alive. Okay, I'm going to write it on both sides. Okay. Okay, and then you can just use your coloured pens and go over that just to make it look a lot brighter. And then with your stickers or colouring pens or whatever, you can just simply decorate your megaphone. So I'm just going to put some stars on mine. And you can put different coloured stars and, um, you know, if you want to put, if you want to put the smiley faces on, you can do as well. So I'll just put a few smiley faces on mine. Okay, because we should be happy that Jesus is alive. Okay, so I'm just going to put a smiley face there and a smiley face here. And this is also the point where you would put your memory verse. So again, you just simply use some glue and attach the memory verse. Oops, there we go. Okay, and the memory verse says, he is not here for he is risen. Okay. And that's how we know that Jesus is alive. So when you've done that, the next thing you need to do is to actually roll it into the shape of a megaphone. And so for this, again, you're going to need some glue. And you're just going to glue all the way down on one side. Now this bit might be a little bit tricky because you need to get it to hold together at the top and at the bottom. So you might need someone to help you with this part as you stick the top and the bottom together. Okay, and if you get some sellotape, you can actually try and sellotape that together. Okay. Let's just use some more sellotape. And if you do the top end and the bottom end together first, then it's easier then just to put some sellotape in the middle. So there, see, so you've got your cone mega shape, megaphone shape. And then we need to make a handle now for your megaphone. And so with your plain sheet of A4 paper, what you're going to do is make a handle by using your pencil and you're going to roll the pencil all the way along with that A4 piece of paper. Okay, and then you're just going to let it loose a little bit so the pencil comes out and use a little bit of sellotape to hold it together. And so you should end up with this. So when you've got to this stage, what you need to do is just squash it flat. This is going to make a really strong handle for your megaphone. So you squash it flat and then guess about a third of the way in and just make a fold. And the same on the other side, just make a fold in. And then you're just going to make a fold about halfway down to fold it out on the outside. OK, 
Okay, so that's going to be the shape of your handle. And so what you'll need to do then is use some sellotape. I'm just going to put some across one part of the handle there and some sellotape across the second part. And then we're going to attach the handle on that crease that we made at the back to the megaphone. Okay. And so there you have your megaphone. Okay. And you should end up with something like this. Okay, so if you want to make a smaller one, you just need to use one sheet of A4 paper and um, a little bit of A5 paper to make a smaller one. But you can join in the song that says, Jesus is alive, one, two, three, Jesus is alive. So here we go. Jesus is alive. I hope you enjoy making this activity. I'd love to see how you get on. So take care. God bless. Happy Sabbath. Bye. Hi children, I hope you enjoyed this song. It's called I've Got the Joy, 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 Joy Down in My Heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay And I'm so happy, so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart And I'm so happy, so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart I've got the love of Jesus down in my heart Down in my heart I've got the peace of passes understanding down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the peace of passes understanding down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy. So very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy. So very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart Down in my heart, down in my heart I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart Down in my heart to stay